Guys were incredible. Oh, the way you took down that Geist without needing to plan your tactics out, you just knew exactly what to do. Well, Aesops are hand-picked to perfectly complement one another, so we can focus on our assets and leave our liabilities behind. Some of us are all asset, zero liability. <laughs> huh? Yeah? Think I've got some liabilities, Elm? Your brains, for one. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. You did ask. Hi! Do you need a new best friend? Our pair name can be... Perfect complimentary teamwork. Oh, yeah. I want to have my friends back just like that. Friends? <laughs> this isn't the schoolyard, kid. Under the ice. But I mean, when you go through so much with someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? We get along well enough, sure. I count on them to keep me alive. They do the same. But that's a job. We don't confuse the two. Speaking of the job... This is the third school this week. Duty ever beckons. You all hang back a second. Already, sir? What do you guys want to do when we get back to Atlas? A sightseeing? Oh, what should we visit first? <sighs> How about our buds? Oh, come on, guys! This is a great time to go exploring. We haven't done that in so long. Ruby, we just explored a whole continent on foot before flying to this one. Well, yeah, but it was only the boring parts. We almost died. <laughs> hey, heads up. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. You too, Crow. I need you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. And Clover, don't take Murrow. <laughs> New problems in Mantle? More of the same, unfortunately. Someone in Mantle is taking out public leaders who speak out against Atlas. Specifically, people who speak out against me. It didn't look like a pattern at first, but this is the third murder of its kind in the last week. Wait a minute. That's the guy that rode with us after we were arrested. He died? 
Your opposition in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you, huh? I'm not really worried about my public image, but it is causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me, and by extension, Atlas. And it's working. Well, if it wasn't for the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for everything else. <clears throat> Sir. No, no, you're right. Things in Mantle have been hard to manage lately. I'm not blind to its issues. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. With the launch of this mobile communications tower and tensions down in Mantle, I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. What? Already? Here? No, it's fine. Let him land. I'll deal with him myself. More mantle problems? No. This one's an Atlas problem. So let me get this straight, James. In addition to this nonsensical embargo of yours crippling my business, you've also decided you have the authority to commandeer private property. When the council hears about this, you will never- Actually, I've already informed them. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a vote. Didn't require a vote? You might want to brush up on council law before you lose this upcoming election, John. Now, I've allowed you to land here once as a courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. Lately, you seem to forget who your friends really are. I'm going to get that council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... You. You roped my missing daughter into these schemes of yours, too? How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to come here. Just like it was my decision to leave. Or have you forgotten all about that? If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me. I know exactly the kind of man you are. How dare you speak to me that way! I have half a mind to- Half a mind to what, Shark? You know, your mother was devastated when you left. Didn't leave her room for days. You know how. She gets, when she's upset. I knew one day you would overextend your reach. I didn't come here to beg for an abandoned mine. I came here to thank you. For personally handing me the noose to hang you. You'll regret this. So these are the little friends you threw everything away for. Not friends. Family. Oh, now you show up, Winter. You just missed Father. I wouldn't say I missed. Ah! Surprise! Ah, uh, did we not start yet? <sighs> Apparently, we haven't. <laughs> start what? It goes without saying that this arena holds a significance to all of us. It's only fitting that we should be able to reconvene here, now, when the world needs to be brought together more than ever. The road you traveled from our first meeting hasn't been easy. You fought for your school and your friends at Beacon. You fought for the world and the innocent at Haven Academy and beyond. You faced down terrors people can't even fathom. That's not the behavior of students. It's the behavior of huntsmen and huntresses. Hmm? Wait. What is this? You are being granted your huntsman licenses. Today, 
I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule, but hmm. brothers know you deserve it. I only regret that I couldn't do something a little more ceremonious for the occasion. I... Uh, we... We're honored, General Ironwood. But you really don't have Please. to do Please. With the threat of Salem still out there, and tensions rising in our kingdom, I certainly could use more trustworthy fighters by my side. I should be so lucky to have all of you. It's okay. It's a big moment. And what better way than to celebrate here? When this tower is ready, and communications are back up and running, we'll tell the world about Salem and face down whatever comes at us after that. Together. That's just about all the pomp I have in me. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back to running this operation. Um, well then, enjoy the cake. Your speech outros are improving, sir! After everything we've been through, I almost forgot this is what I wanted in the first place. When Beacon fell, I didn't think this would even be possible. It almost feels trivial now. Jeez, guys. Lighten up a little. Enjoy yourselves for a change. You've earned it. Finally! Someone said it! Let's kill some cake, huh? Because I can eat two slices before Ren even eats one. Who says I can't? Who says it, huh? Nora, nobody is arguing with you about this. <laughs> Big day for you, huh, kiddo? It's definitely a lot to take in. Which part? The finally getting the Atlas part? Getting your license part? Or well, the not quite disclosing everything to Ironwood part? <laughs> or all of the above? <laughs> all of the above. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Or if I'm no different from Oz. Ruby, Oz only trusted himself with the whole truth. You're trusting others, but you're making sure they prove themselves first. I think that's a pretty big difference. I hope so. This says I'm a huntress now. But I don't feel like I know much more than I did at Beacon. <laughs> that feeling never goes away. Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. Her last mission. Was that another Oz secret? Hmm. There were a lot of those back in our day. But this one was a summer secret. When she didn't come back, Ospin seemed just as in the dark as myself and your father. Still, who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. What do you think she would have done if she learned the truth about Salem? That she can't be destroyed? Pressed on, I think. Like you. She was always the best of us. Bit of a brat, though. <laughs> but hey, I like brats. <laughs> hey, Ruby! Come check this out! <gasps> oh my gosh, is that a mission board? It's an app now? <gasps> Can we ride a Megalith? Stop an underground crime ring? Do I get to go? Undercover? Nice, baby! Hey, you guys smell that? <laughs> Smells like... Fresh meat. That's odd. I don't smell meat. <laughs> Neither do I. You know what? Never mind. Let me get this straight. You've only been official for an hour now, and you're already looking for huntsman work? To be fair, we've been official for a whole... 57 minutes. I'd like to remind you all that the real mission here is ensuring the successful launch of the communications tower. True, but we can also keep training and improving by helping where we can. <sighs> the enthusiasm of youth! Well, it's hard to argue with that. Okay, let me show you how it works. Ooh, here's an important one. Who wants to volunteer? Yes! All right! We need someone to escort children to pre-primary school down in Mantle. There's not actually any danger, but the parents fret, and that attracts Grim. Mm. Perfect! Thanks! Uh, Juan? Juan? Jim? 
Close enough, I guess. <laughs> wow, my first Huntsman mission. <gasps> Next, a massive saber is loose in the mantle sewers. We need two brave warriors to flush it out. Oh! Hey, hey, what? But why didn't I get a choice for that one? <laughs> <laughs> Father, you, um, have a visitor. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Why did you let them in? I didn't. He let himself in. A spitting image of you, this lad, Chuck. Creepily so, I might add. He's definitely inherited your... <laughs> affect. Arthur. Whitley, leave us. And shut the door. I said shut the door! I... You're supposed to be dead. That is what I wanted people to think, you're right. However, I've heard things about you too, Jacques. Namely... That you have an ironwood problem. <laughs> that bastard is costing me more money every day with this embargo. I'd lay off every employee in Mantle if I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What if I said you could have your cake... ...and eat it too?